All right, time for my next segment. We're gonna go deeper into the ruins this segment. Probably should have watched last segment to see what I needed to do, but who cares? I don't care. All right, so I'm apparently starving like a lot. So let's make some food. We got enough for one meatballs right here. And we don't need this. We can put this in here, or we can eat it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, we got some light bulbs in here that are going bad. And we got some light bulbs in here. We mix them, and I'll go half and half. i put some of these in here. Nope. Put some of these in here. And we got a hand bat, which is really good. That's going to be dope. Alright, and now I'm going to want to get some berries so I can make more meatballs. Jerky's going to be king in the ruins, but I don't really have the budget to be making a bunch of jerky right now. Eventually we will. Eventually we'll be able to just make stupid amounts of jerky. He's going to eat my berries. I don't care. I don't really need them. I only need 14. No, I need this amount. That's perfect. All right. Jerky will last longer in the ruins. It'll also restore sanity. Honey ham's good too, for the massive health restoration. All right, we got him. I'm gonna eat these right now for the hunger. Um, the green gems and thulacite. I'm gonna need to keep those for now, so that I can craft. I don't need these blue gems, and I don't need the pickaxe. I, I'll keep the backup helmet. But these blue gems are going to be super helpful later. The nice thing about the ruins is you don't need to worry about day or night. Like the caves. Because either which way. It's going to be dark. Alright. Um, we won't need these rocks. We won't need these. Or these. the time for this. We got the bear girl incoming. So we're gonna make this early. He's coming from this side. I can assume he's coming from this side because I heard the sound when I walked in this direction. And I keep, I'm still hearing it, so he's probably this way. Now we can hear his footsteps. Alright, um, so I, I just want to deal with him quickly. So I'm going to deal with him now. Two after this. Wait for the swipe. Do three. Wait for the swipe. Do three. Wait for the swipe. Do three. Oh, that's not. I was not ready for that. I did not count correctly. I am not counting. Also, I guess I'm lagging a little because I can't do three, so I'm just going to do two. Only one that time. This is 
is a bad fight. Hits me once more time, he's gonna kill me, I think. There we go. Yeah, that was a really bad fight, but that's fine. I made a hand bat because he's gonna give me some sweet ass meat anyway, so might as well. Really bad fight, but that's fine, it happens kind of not really focusing. I have plenty of health restoring items, so I'm fine still. I don't want to obviously like harvest these bees or anything, because they'll probably try and kill me. And I'll be able to sleep tonight to restore some health and some sanity. And we can go tomorrow, now that Barragor is taken care of. Start these fires a little. sleep now. Alright, so that's the end of that tent. Alright, I'm gonna make one hand bat with this. So uh, that means I can dry the rest of these for some jerky. Jerky will be super helpful later on. And I want to get these up for the next time. I don't have any more manure, so I'll use some rot. All's well. That ends well. It's fine. I'm gonna refuel this with some rot. Because I have extra right now. I'm basically back to full. I can eat a little. Alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in Chester, and I'm also going to put a pigskin in Chester. And I'll have this. I'm going to have a good amount of wood armor, and I'll need this torch and these logs for burning. Spider webs. I won't need this pickaxe or this hammer. I already have a pickaxe, and two of these works good, and I'm not going to use this hammer right now. But I will... make a football helmet for backup. And the thick fur um, is kind of extra right now. I don't need it for anything. Um, I'm going to make an insulated backpack with it when I get back. It's a good thing to have, just prototyped. Like like I mentioned before, I like to just prototype everything. Alright, so we're good on this. We got all our meatballs. Oof. Four is good. Sandy is a little low. So we're going to go get, collect some of this honey for our sanity. Because uh, we don't have any jerky or anything to really restore sanity. So. It's a little bottomed out. Okay, there we go. So two, that's going to give us 30 sanity. That'll be, that'll be fine. They'll check for mushrooms when I get down there. good. I'll be able to build a ham bat when I'm down there too now, with that meat. So when mine starts getting stale, I can build another one. I'm going to collect some of this grass, not all of it, but whenever, while I'm waiting for this, I'll collect some. And it's a shame I don't have a 
Tam O'Shanter. Because that would be really great to wear while I'm like just going down there. Because it re restores a lot of sanity. It definitely makes up for the sanity and loss of um, walking around at night. Get some sanity from that though. And what I'm going to do is, because I have tons of silk, I'm just going to make a top hat. Not the best sanity restoration, but it's better than having a bear head. Or a football helmet or something, which isn't really helping me at all right now. It'll at least delay this to pretty slow. And I'm not going to use the wormhole, because it's not that much farther to walk. Ooh, I need Chester, don't I? I don't want to... It's not that much farther to walk. And I don't want to lose 20 sanity before I go down. Because this is keeping me basically steady at um, 130 for now. Put some non-important stuff in my backpack, like... My extra lant well, my extra lantern's a little important. These are gonna get spoiled, probably. But who cares? My armor's all important. Yep, so basically any resources I get, I'm gonna be putting in my backpack. See how I'm losing like one sanity every now and then. That'll be fine. I don't like to pick flowers, as I've mentioned before. Kind of feels like a waste to me because they're not going to come back. I have to replant them. Now I'm not going to go around my world replanting flowers anytime, so I might as well just leave them. Let Chester catch up a little. Hopefully those green mushrooms are back. Are back. I don't know how many days it's been because I haven't really been keeping track. But if they're back, I can go grab those and cook a stack and that'll give me quite the amount of sanity. I'm got a lot of armor. Do I bring any bring my moggles? But I'll use a lantern. I don't have any glow berries. I don't know where my moggles are. They're probably in my backpack. But I'm just gonna use the lantern for now. Next time I come up, I'll kill some glow worms and I'll have tons of glow berries for my moggles. I'm just going to ignore that for now for inventory space. Alright, I want to get down there now. Chester's close enough, I think, to follow me. Yep. Remember to zoom out. You're like, why am I so close? Oh yeah, I'm zoomed in. Oh, what the hell? I thought I was just wandering around. That's dumb. Just like stopped to attack me. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Not even close to insane. That would be one reason you might want to walk around with a football helmet. Stuff like that happens. I don't want to mix these with my new light bulbs because they're just going to go bad. So when I get here, I'm going to just pop them in the chest. I can tell it's a... Uh... That's good. But I'm going to take this bush out with me. Alright. I got, got kind of a full inventory. Let's not pick the ones near my base. Let's pick these ones. Oh. Out here. It's day right now, so I won't be able to get any green mushrooms. But I can, I can find where they are. And examine them. Also, it'd be good to get these red gems. Pick up. I'll go around here and I'll kind of mull around for a bit. I'm losing a little sanity and that's fine. I'm not losing much. I'm going to gain a lot of sanity from doing this. I'm chilling around here. 
and I'll be able to pick up any gems or stuff I see. But once those green mushrooms come up, which shouldn't be long, I'll be able to pick all those. We got a depth room I can fight in the meantime. I'm not losing any durability because I'm using a hand bat. And it's still pretty fresh, which means... Men, so I need to take that off. I'm not gonna use the glowberries for this, so I'll take that off. So waiting on these green mushrooms. Gonna pick some more light flowers for light, but I got plenty. Can eat these ferns for health. I'll let that just rot because I don't need that right now. It's just it's just too much inventory space to be carrying around all the monster meat I'm gonna produce. This way. Blue, 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 green. Green, green. Okay. All right, time to hit the road, Jack. I'm gonna use my fire real quick to cook these. Uh, um, that's not a fire, that's an endothermic fire. Pay no attention to what I just did. Don't I, just, let's just pretend like I didn't, just try and do that. We'll all be better off. And I want this in here and I want to switch this out for something not as crucial so not armor but the top hat definitely not armor definitely not light something that could get me killed oh wrong way I guess ooh good though I have enough for a fire if I need to cook this. I will keep it in my backpack. If if I'm running out of room, I can cook it. Basically to fall. I I just don't need to worry about these right now. Just want to not get hit by any of them while I'm going down. Now I gotta remember that there's monsters around here, so I'm holding up on my controller, and I'll be able to see right when I get down where everything is. But I usually try and hold them in the direction opposite of when I came down. And we don't need nightmare fuel because there's tons down here, but we will need it. And now you can see the color is kind of a dull gray, right? And those cracks are slightly open. This is how we're going to be able to tell. 
Alright, so these statues, we want the gems in them and we want to mine them. One thing to learn about this is. Ah, uh, nightmare cycle. Like that. Now we wait. Nothing will attack us unless it's already aggroed onto us. You can see the eyes here crying, like all this oil and stuff like that. And you can see the ground's red like this. That means we're in, like, the. F whatever the phase of the nightmare cycle is where things try and kill us. Um, I don't remember all the, like, names, but... But we're gonna hide until it goes away. That's kind of like using a fire at night. I guess it's winter? We should be fine staying here, because there's nothing around, but we're just doing this as a precaution, because as it ramps up, it's going to go like crazy. I'm going to switch these out with something less important, like um, my torch. Um, I don't want to get hit during the earthquake. Your light stays out while you're hiding. Though, there's nothing trying to kill me, which is great. So while I'm doing this, I'm also going to show that when you log out and log back in, reload the world, that gem is going to change colors. And that's great, because otherwise, you would just see like a red gem, and you'd be like, oh shit, i got to get a red gem. And it'd just be completely RNG, and you wouldn't be able to get whatever gem you want. Right now it's blue, so that's like the relog trick. Um, while we wait, I'll talk about some stuff. Um, the nightmare cycle is something that's uh, we'll get a talisman that'll show us the nightmare cycle. Oh come on! Also, that's another thing is when when you talk, he comes out of it. So when you're like trying to kite hounds or like hide in the bush at every now and then you'll say something like that and that'll make you come out so basically this is like the nightmare phase and shadow creatures are going to spawn from all the the open cracks which we saw before but we um like if we're not close to one they're not going to attack us there we go so now that that disappeared we're um back in like the calm phase of it so what i'm gonna do is pop some more light in here and we're gonna come back for actually we need a little more dual set i think how much do we have we do need a little bit more dual dualcite. So we're going to mine this statue for some dualcite. But we want a green gem to be in it at least. Typically, we could do this and not need a green gem. We could do like a blue gem. I mean, uh, orange or yellow gems are also good. But, man, what color is that? This During this phase, it's really hard to d determine the color. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out. I don't need any of these. So I equip the armor a second. And I'll take my hand mat and I'll fuck these guys up. Just let him hit me. I don't really have time to like be dicking around. Um, I put my torch in him or something. Yeah.
I don't bring nightmare fuel down here because nightmare fuel is like kind of non-crucial because there's so much of it already freaking down here. There we go. That one was just in the way of me like coming in and out, so I destroyed it. All right, we're gonna get this guy to kill this. Drop some dual site fragments and some this. Oh shit. Can't repair. Let's do this. There we go. Come on. Alright, so we just got some free clockworks to fight for us. I guess, maybe. No, they're just gonna fight us. But they fought for us. Well anyway, let's kill them. There we go. Alright. We got an orange gem for that. Now we have enough dual site. Alright. Yellow gem. I don't like these guys because they're going to destroy our statues with what we don't want in them. And I don't like to fight bishops when I don't have my moguls because I'm only protected by one kind of armor and they have this giant splash radius. So I'm still just exploring this area. These nightmare lights aren't on, and we know it's... Okay. So this is good. Ooh. There's so many, though. Alright. What I need to do is I need to put this down like this. And toss my armor on, like that. And my hammer. I need to get this motherfucker. Pussy. Alright. So I just run in, take a hit, and then kill him. Like that. And this guy. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I'm getting zapped at. Alright, I'm running. I didn't know there was this many bishops. Just outside of light radius. Damn it, are you kidding me? Alright. The problem with the, uh, whatever they're called, the big angry ones that are charging at me right now, is they will destroy the rocks. They'll destroy ancient pseudoscience machines. Like, on purpose, because they're dicks, basically. So I want to heal a little, so I'm going to do a wide circle around. Um, I'm a little risk of dying, but this guy's just attacking Chester for some reason, like an asshole. And my keyboard's broken. Not a good time for that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's like a million of them. We will have to return with Moguls to really, like, get this. Get this party started. I'm gonna heat up real quick. Well, there's nothing attacking me. I can also use this fire to kill this. Oh my god. They're everywhere. I'm gonna lead him over here. Get like two hits while he does that. Oh my god. I'm just tipping. If I get hit one more time, I'm dead. There we go, an earthquake coming. Got another damaged bishop. Now that we've recovered some health, we can fight him. But I don't want to do it during the earthquake. All right, we're in like the warning phase. Basically, right now we gotta worry about. There we go. All right. Get this guy to come at me, if he will.
We're gonna make a fresh hand mat. Toss this one. Pick this up. We cleared out one of the rooks without taking damage. Which is nice. We need to take out this bishop right here. Wherever he is. Alright, there we go. Alright, he's right there. We have this one to worry about right now. Oh, still took a hit. Alright. Well, he's hopping back's a good place. Time to hit him. There we go. And they give you, like, gems and stuff, which is great. Alright, Nightmare Circle. Nightmare Cycle. Alright, so... This is going to be our station because it's really close. We'll kill all the clockwork robots and the depth dwellers. And then we'll just make a clean line through here. We can like put some stuff down. Um, right now what we're going to do, because those nightmare lights are going to make um, shadow creatures, is we're going to hide until they don't. <laughs> fire. So this guy will attack me if he comes and sees me, but he won't. Um, oh shit. Uh, I just want, didn't want to like start clamoring on about hunger, because he would. Alright, and now we can see the ancient tab right here. There's some stuff we can craft with a broken machine, like dual sight walls, dual sight, which you make with fragments, and a dual sight medallion, which you're definitely going to make. Um, we don't have the dual site for it right now, but that's going to show you which part of the cycle you're on. You can see from the ground. See how it's all red? That's, and the nightmare lights are open. These guys are like vomiting like oil. That's how we know what cycle we're in. Alright, we've got the Magna Luminescence, lum, Luminescence, which is like an amulet you wear that gives you light and sanity. And the construction amulet, which we're absolutely freaking making. That makes it so everything costs half as much, but only has five uses. Star colors, summon stars, that lights light, and the deconstruction staff, which is also very important. We're not going to make one of those right now because we don't need to, but I'll show you what they're good for. Basically, you can make stuff with half the amount of resources with the construction amulet, and then you can deconstruct them, and you'll get the full amount of resources back, which can allow you to dupe ingredients. And you can also use the deconstruction staff to deconstruct your pan flutes to get back, because at least 10% needs to be left for it to still be there and you'll still get back your mandrake so if we get one mandrake we'll be able to like have an infinite amount of pan flute uses from that one mandrake the deconstruction staff we got to repair this though to make like to get full use out of it and um i also like to bring this because it's good to hide while you're crafting because all these things come and try and kill you so it's nice to like just walk up the station and i usually have a fire pit i'll throw some in the fire pit Unequip my lantern and just like chill here. Or like, uh, I make a what's it called? Yeah, fire pit. <laughs> That's what it's called. We just need to wait. This is, um, this lasts a while. Okay, so now we're calm again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring drag Chester a little closer. I think I I thought if you put things in repair these they'll help you, but I don't know. Alright, so we have five dual site and we have eight fragments. Right? So we begin to repair this. We need five dual site. And we need I believe four of these. Oh, only two. I guess it was a little repaired. And now we can hide, and we can just talk about this. So now we've unlocked some more recipes. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to make a dual site. We have enough for one. And what we want is this Houndish Shooties is really great. We're going to need Guardian's Horn for that, which we can go get. We're going to need dual site. 
Um, dual sight clubs are pretty good, but it's kind of a waste of dual sight because the dark swords does more damage. Dual sight suits are great because uh, they restore sanity, but they don't tick down, unlike everything else, basically. But they're not the best armor in the game for damage absorption. And uh, here's a dual sight crown. That's the best helmet in the game. We definitely want to make that. And the pickaxe is like just a pickaxe combined with an axe, but you need to use dual sight to make it. And since dual sight's like not renewable, we don't really want to do that. All right. So let's do that right now. Where is this statue? Is this kind of gem? Is this? Um, gotta put this on the ground. So we normally want to use green gems because we can make all kinds of stuff with them. But for now, we're going to make uh, use orange gems because we want to make a lazy explorer like this. The lazy explorer is literally just the same thing as the walking staff, except for where is this? It allows you to teleport too, but it costs durability, so you can't do it all the time, or you'll just waste your durability. yellow gems. We're going to need some of those. I want to build at least one of each thing so I can like kind of play with them. But since you can't prototype anything, you don't really get anything from building them. If you could prototype them, you'd you know, have that prototype available. But we won't. Okay, so we just got to be really careful, right? Because there's all these clockwork creatures trying to kill us. Christ with these guys. Alright, so th that's how we kind of kite these guys. Maybe this guy will attack Chester. No, he's going for me. He'll get one hit in, but then I'll get him. Alright. And it's getting a little dangerous with my low health. So I'm gonna try and avoid any conflict at this point. All right, so we got a blue gem here and a blue gem there. Now go over towards this one. We've got an orange gem there. You can tell by the just looking at the color. So I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log back in and I'm gonna go check all those ones again. You don't want to log out and log back in for one and constantly do that. It's kind of a waste of time. You just kind of like walk by a lot of them and mine the green ones. Log out, log in, and walk by them again is probably the fastest way to do it. But, granted, if you want to do it fast, you want to be wearing better armor, like wear like a shadow suit, um, which we can make for down here, and I'll make one when I go back up, probably, and we'll get the moggles, too. We'll really get set up the next time we come down for success, and we'll come down here with like a bunch of stuff. Because I have definitely more time. And then we're going to go mine this kind of field. And make some dual site stuff. So this is yellow too. I don't really want yellows right now. I'm going to need one more yellow though. So I guess I can take this one. Whoops. And if there's no gem. Which will happen. No gem's ever going to appear. So you don't need to sit there and, like, relog when you're not going to get anything ever. And slurpers. Let's fight these slurpers. Alright, we want to fight these slurpers and get their pelts. They'll attack us. They'll try and jump on us. Get these slurper pelts. That's good. Oh. I could use a glow berry. Alright, I'm just dodging. 
dodging now. I'm getting really low on health. And I don't want to die. And I have 2%. So, if any of this stuff or the Death Worm hits me, he'll probably kill me. Not a big deal because we have a meat effigy, but I don't want to like die for no reason because all my stuff's going to be left down here if I do. Alright, we're really heating up down here. This should be the last round of hits, right? No. There we go. I just needed that. And now I'm out of here. I'm outie. Pick these ferns. So as you can see from how poorly I did, it's very dangerous down there. Um, and if it's your first time, you know, just take it slow. You don't want to, you know, go too fast and get murdered. Taking it slowly, you should be fine. But now we have a repaired station, and we're going to go harvest all that field, and then we're going to probably go kill the Ancient Guardian. I don't know. There's a couple ways to kill the Ancient Guardian when we find him. He's basically a rook, if you didn't know that. He's just like a rook. Um, the best way is to just recruit a bunch of rock lobsters to go murder him for you. So we're going to do that. Uh, I want this. I want this, too. Gotta be careful of those tentacles. Alright, got one right here. Since the rock lobsters are so, like, ridiculous with their health, they will be able to crush him. So what we have to do is, like, get them to come down with us. And we'll go find them next. I think that's what we'll do next. We're not really gonna make any more stuff. a little bit. I gotta worry about these hounds, too. If one of those hits me, it could be all over. Not, like, all over, obviously, like... But could be, like, annoyingly. I have to, like, spend some time doing some stuff. Is what I mean. One of the positives, though, is we got rid of all those stupid, like, half-used things we had. I'm just weaving so Chester can keep up. I don't want to come back and get him. And even though I'm not using the walking cane to walk, I am... It has the same speed boost. And it looks really cool. It's getting cold and getting wintry out. Alright, and we're not really going to use 
use that again, probably. Oh, I don't have any room. Hound's teeth. Walrus tusk, which we'll need for another walking cane. Just to have one. This functions as a walking cane. Actually, I won't do that right now. I'll do that a little later. And slurper belts can go in here. We can put gems in here. And our thulacite. It's like a rare mineral. Um, we'll like make a new thing for full thulacite over here. Uh, I feel like I must mention that um, I'm pl still playing Wilson because obviously I started with Wilson. I can't just switch characters. Wilson is great if you're new to the game. I, I would say play Wilson. Wilson is not good at some things. One of those things is harvesting everything in the ruins. Wilson is just objectively not a good character for that. There's characters who are just better at that. I need three ropes, right? Yeah. WX is the best character for harvesting the ruins for several reasons. One being that every time he kills any of the clockwork monsters, he can just take their gears and use that as food. And that is just OP. All right, we're in winter now. We can tell by the ground. Um, so stuff is going to not grow as good. So we got to like actually like put a little effort into not starving to death at this point. Like, not much effort, just a little bit. I got these glow berries, and this will turn to rot, and I ain't used this yet. Alright. So let's go get our moggles, wherever they are. Dude, what did I do with them? Now, now, now. This. I have no idea what I did with my moggles. They're probably like somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. Maybe I'll like review my footage at some point and like discover why I don't have them. Anyway, it's about that time of year. You can wear this and this. Wear a backpack stuff out. We don't need this top hat anymore. And or push hat. Um, we'll keep in him for the next time we go down. Alright, we're all good on that. This torch. Tools. This is just gonna rot. So is this. I'm gonna keep them though. Alright. I think it's actually under science, right? Nope, insulate back. Right there. So we need three gears. gears. Six gold. I don't have any with us. That's just wonderful. I don't have any moggles. I don't know where they are. This is turning to a nightmare. Let's go plant these. Because I believe we don't have any trees planted. And we don't have that many pine cones left. I can just make this at a later point. It's not even something I'm going to use. And I don't want these anymore in my inventory. I'm going to make a stack down here. We will have tons of those. Oh, here we go. We got pine cones here. One, one of these chests. Come on. There we go. Pine cones. So we're going to go plant some. And we have some cut grass. Perfect. I'm going to eat something. I may have left my moggles somewhere and have may or may not have no idea where they are. So that's not good. 
But for now, we need to heat up and go plant these trees so it, we can have plenty of trees. And I don't want him standing right on my fire. He'll interrupt me. Yum. And it's winter, so we can't grow food. Um, one thing we can do, though, is we can do this, if I haven't showed this before. Iceworks is a filler. Right? Boom. That'll make me pulse. Okay, so let's go this way. I won't need two lanterns, so I'm going to remove one. And we're going to plant these trees so that we can stomp them. Once I get next spring, maybe, I'll be able to show a better way to harvest trees. One of the problems with using this is, as you can see, telepoof is just a thing that I will accidentally do. And I'll, I'll run out of uh, this eventually from accidentally teleporting. Because if I can't right click, I teleport. <laughs> see? That's how that works, though. It takes 5% to do it. And it happens a lot. <laughs> a lot more than you'd think. That's why I'm going to build another walking cane and basically use that. Because this is technically better because you have the option of teleporting. You also don't really have the option of not accidentally teleporting because it's an accident it'll happen. And eventually it'll run out. But this is cool because you can teleport to places you wouldn't normally be able to teleport. so we can walk to the center. And that'll be enough trees for a long time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I think I have enough time, is we're gonna stomp these beefalo. Not tonight, but another night. Because they're so close to our trees, I think those will get crushed too, and I don't want those. Actually, I'll just wait for that, because they're so close to the trees. We got meat for now. And these berries won't grow back, so... I'll have to harvest these one last time. So now, since this is like... Kind of my last harvest... I don't want any of them to get eaten by the goddamn turkeys. So if they come out, I will scare them away. If you're having trouble keeping track of what season's what, you can use a seasonal clock as like a mod. Where did this one come from? Is this just an extra? I think this is just an extra. Alright. Five jerkies in this. I yeah, nightmare armor. Okay. Um, I need these, and I'll need these, which is good. I saved them, and then we just refine into paper. Actually, I haven't prototyped this yet. I think it's two paper, right? No, it is three. Okay, so this is like the best armor in the game, basically. We're gonna, we're about to get like an outrageous armor combo. Like truly fucking outrageous. And what do I need for the moguls? How many? 
I need two doodads. I don't have the gold for it, but I have the rocks. So I need two doodads. And then I'll get the gold down there and I have the glowberries in my inventory. So it's time to get warm. Put this in my inventory and I will be off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go make some more moggles first off. Heat myself up with this method. I'm gonna make some more moggles and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go do some more exploring. I need this handbag though. Glute. Good fuel. Get all hot and bottle in the heat like we were doing last year. Lasts us a long time. You see movement speed increase. You can see it. It's observable. Oh, wrong, wrong hole. Don't want to go down there. That's where all the walrus camps are. Actually, I do want to go murder all of them, but I'm gonna go get like some OP armor first before I do that, and then I'll just go straight murder them. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We're not really, though. Rabbit hole. I need molars. Should be getting pretty close to full moon, I think, maybe. Fast enough. This guy's. I'm not gonna be fast enough to catch this guy. I want these mushrooms though. Should have brought some minerals with me. That's by far the easiest way to do this. until I find my moggles. Though I'm gonna have two pairs now. Not a, not a like necessarily bad thing. I can like keep pair, one pair down there. So that's closer and keep one pair up here. But it's kind of a waste because I don't wanna like consume a bunch of mole worms. So this is happening. They might overpopulate and destroy our world. I'm pretty sure it's fixed, but who knows? We're not long for this world, so whatever. Like, for real. We're going to world hop when we're done everything we want to do. Which means we're going to explore all the ruins. We're going to get a bunch of thulocyte and honeycombs and all this non-renewable trash that we want. We want to do that. And then we want to... get all the seasonal items from all the bosses, kill the bosses a couple times, 
we're going to want to go to every ruins and clear those out, so that's going to take a long time. They're all, like, stuck. I'm going to come back and I'm going to grab these guys. Which means I'll need minerals. Dads. Put the extra in here. I don't need this right now. This I can cook and eat. like this in my inventory and I don't have a football helmet but that's fine because I'm going to make some great armor and I need some of these though I can get these in the ruins I'm gonna get some here first and these gold this gold will be great for uh, getting my uh, rock lobsters renewed this I'll do this at some point not really a critical thing right now. Stack some friendship hours. There we go. You idiot. Walk into walls like an idiot. I don't know where the other ones went. If they got back to their home, I'm gonna go check. Here, one of them over here. They didn't get back to their home. Three is a little on the low side. One's a baby. I I think there's some over here. Somewhere. but I can make one. That's just for lighting shit on fire. Also, I can teleport over to there now. Um, it's probably this. This is probably the way there. So I could go... It probably goes like that, winding path. But I can also just teleport. Because I got that, that power now. These guys will catch up to me. And I'm pretty sure if they're close enough, when they catch up to me, they'll go back down to the ruins with me. If not, I can just like go back and forth and see what happens. 
I am by no means an expert in this game, nor have I done everything, and there's plenty of stuff I don't know, so if, if I was coming off like someone who's like the best, there's plenty of stuff I have left to learn. Get some sanity from that. Fuck beard hair, I have too much of it. I also don't need this. Not driving meat in my inventory? Nope, good. Always a good thing to check while you're approaching them before it's too late. You could get bunnies to help you with the. Uh, Ancient Guardian, but they'll just get destroyed. Because they suck. You're better off with lobsters. Rock lobsters. my hand bet that I left in the middle of nowhere. I thought it might be in Chester, but apparently it's not. The rock lobsters don't want to help. They don't care about my well-being. Evidently. But the bunnies sure hate these guys. And they like to damage me to no end. To fuck up my whole plan of coming down here. Basically. Alright, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, there we go. I need a weapon. A weapon would be nice. I just left mine carelessly down here. And I can drop that right there. Okay, so one of the problems I'm going to encounter is it's going to be cold down here now. So I'll have to build fires and stuff to keep myself warm. Since I have my warm gear, I can basically uh, stay down there for a long time. And I'm going to only switch out my armor when I need it. So I'll stay warm with the insulation vest. And also it keeps me um, nice and fed as well. Because it reduces my hunger. I hope these rocks lobsters are still allied with me. After all this time I just spent doing all that dumb stuff. And I really... I'm sick of this shit. For real. Okay. Just wanna walk around here and try and pull them towards me. The rock lobsters. This guy's with me. Kind of hear one more, so let's just go down and see who follows us. All right, we got three. We're good. I'm gonna go feed them a little more, and off we go. Health, and let's do this. Zoom out. And what we're doing is we're going to fight the Ancient Guardian. So. These guys will follow us. The Rock Lobsters are going to get left in my dust, but they'll eventually come back. I believe teleporting drags them a little bit. happen right now. 
I can uh, fight these guys. <laughs> I'm so dumb. How do I get through the day? I'm like too far to hide in the nightmare cycle. Oh my god, how do I get dressed in the morning? This is pathetic. Can you kite three nightmare creatures? It goes without saying that the rock lobsters will not help you fight the nightmare creatures because they can't see them because they're not insane because they're rock lobsters. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's do this. Okay, so I just spent an annoyingly long amount of time, got hurt a bunch, doing something that's pretty easy. Which probably means these guys are probably back. No, they're not. Cool. Alright, so. Let's drop you right here. I'll let you off. That'll probably be good enough. And we'll continue on. Is Chester, like, you know, conscious? Oh, he got lit on fire a little. That is to be expected. I'm going to avoid this one for now. I should. These guys will protect me. Fight them, rock lobsters, bitches. There we go. This little one doesn't want to come with me. Maybe he's like forgotten about our friendship at this point. That'd be a little depressing. I thought I meant a lot to him. This is almost over, this nightmare cycle. I might as well kill these last ones. We got this death worm, that's good. Like all this shit is happening at once, but it's fine. That's why I got my rock lobster buddies. Now I'm getting cold. Oh my god, I can't even see where he is because the screen shaking. Be attacked by everyone in the world. My armor is not gonna last under these circumstances. Alright, the Nightmare Cycle's over, but I just got these residual guys to deal with. At least I got some glow berries to refuel. And they'll take this guy out. I hope this demonstrates to you how dangerous it can be down here. All this stuff happening at once. Right? And I'm going insane too now because of all the fighting and stuff. This guy's probably still trying to kill me. The jerky really helps. And I gotta heat up. The jerky helps with the health and the sanity, and it's gonna help with the hunger. Eventually, we'll just have stacks of jerky. I wanna make sure these rock lobsters are following me. Did they just, like, ditch me? I feel like they ditched me. I feel a little taken advantage of, I'm not gonna lie. This one still clearly wants me. Where are they at? No, oh, 
it right there. I just, I don't know exactly the approximation of how long they're supposed to follow me, so I'm just trying to make sure that they, I have them. That's why I'm overfeeding them. Alright. Going back this way. Not worrying about the chest right now. So this is a military biome at the end of the labyrinth. What we're looking for is the ancient guardian, so he's probably over here somewhere. He's also kind of at the end of the labyrinth. And our rock lobsters will will follow us when we teleport. I can put this in Chester. It's good. Come back through, that's why I'm not hammering these. It's a big labyrinth. And here we have the end. Probably want to go this way a little. Hello. Have some more gold. You're such you're such good rock lobsters. I'm getting a little cold now. My rock lobsters will fight me, probably. To catch up. This has to be like the longest labyrinth ever. Thanks, Chester, for taking those hits like a bro. Chester, you get a promotion. Alright. So here we go. Here's the ancient guardian. So we want our rock lobsters to catch up for us. Because they're going to tank this. There's another way to do it. And that is some way I can try and do. Unless they fixed it. Oop. Oh my god. He just hit me twice and killed me. Alright, well I gotta go get my stuff now. I did not see him running from off screen. Fortunately, I have meat effigies, and I will just place my other one. This is how you revive with meat effigy. You just come out of it. Let me place her another one. This is how we are effectively immortal. <laughs> and we're already at our base. We got all the stuff we need to survive. However... We're now in a tough spot because we have to go get our stuff. So I'm going to cut that for now and then we'll go back and get our stuff. Fortunately, it's not loaded so nothing's happened with it. So it's not like it's all like going to get ruined or like set on fire. Basically, what I was going to do is I was going to place two campfires and he was going to run at them. And since, as you saw, he doesn't actually break the campfire. He was going to slam into the campfire in between the two campfires and then it will be held there. And the rock lobsters are going to kick the crap out of him while I hit him with my hand bat. But, since I was a little slow on that, and I wasn't wearing armor like I should have been when I approached him, he murdered me pretty quickly. So now we're going to have to go back and get him. So that's disappointing. But that kind of thing happens. So it's not the end of the world, because we have meat effigies. So now you also understand basically how we can never die. Because <coughs> we have plenty of stuff back at our base. Like tentacle spikes and backpacks and stuff. And we have plenty of food. Because I have these three. And I can go get more monster meat pretty quickly if I want to. Alright. And I can get some of these. And we'll have food for ourselves. And I can make another walking cane. And I can make more. Make a, Take one of my lanterns. I'm going to just take a lantern. I'm not going to take the moggles. Because I'll go get my moggles. Oh, you bitch. 
Alright, so basically, I'm just gonna get set next time to go up and come back and kick his ass. Now that he's bested me, I feel like it's my duty to destroy him. I should have been wearing armor. Uh, I feel like that's kind of incredibly my fault. But that's what happens when you're not paying attention. You do dumb stuff. Alright, and I can go stomp those trees and make some log armor. Because I don't really have that much stuff on me right now. Alright, I will catch you guys next time. And next time I'll actually kill the Ancient Guardian and not get owned by him, hopefully. <laughs> Whoops, that was bad. Alright.